Hello YouTube, and this is ATSF Modeler here. This, i like to give you a tour of my fictional model railroad. It's based on a Santa Fe, based in a town called Bedford, as you can see here in front of this water tower. I've been working on it for a little over a year. Like I said, it's a fictional town, freelance railroad. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just under four feet wide. Four feet for the main part of the layout. The extension, which is over here, as the engine shed is on, as you can see right here, is just over four feet wide. It's about it's about nine feet long. Um, it's kind of I'll call it a compact railroad, I guess you say, because I built it in the space that I had available. Didn't have much space available. Because you can see here, I bet it's right there. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just didn't make it. Okay, let's go on with the controls. What I use to control it is a Bachman Easy Command. It's a pretty basic DCC system. It's my first system I use it to control the track itself. Here's a power cable for it. And I know some of the guys say, oh, Bachman Easy Command? Well, Easy Command sucks. It's crap. There ain't nothing that I can do. Well, Easy, you fail, people, a lot of people fail to realize that Easy Command is made for starter layouts. It's not you no know, Digitrax Zephyr, or, um, uh, MRC Prodigy Advance, or uh, the NC Power Cab. None, none of that. It's built for small layouts for beginners to not be overwhelmed by it. It doesn't cost too much, and for some, and for beginner modelers with small layout, it's pretty good. So I said I controls the track itself. For my lights, all my buildings are lighted. Every building is lighted. I have most of the switches are wired up, not all of them. It is powered. That is powered by a by a model power electro 1.3 DC power pack. That's all the wires going to it. There's a switch boxes for the switches. And uh, this is this is probably the only power pack that. Model powers and it never made that's even worth a crap. Everything else they make is just junk. That's a great power, that's a pretty good power pack. I've had it for a while. And this is my first real layout, I guess you could say. Everything else is just little small setups on the floor, the kitchen table, stuff like that. My rolling stock mainly consists of uh, Bachman model power, the model power metal rolling stock, like these two box cars. And behind this Proto 2000 GP38-2, that is an Atlas Train Man hopper car. You can see here. Sorry about that. My locomotives is like I mentioned the lifelike GP38-2, not the not the cheap train set one, the Proto 2000, the real deal. Um, this is a Bachman GP DCC equipped GP40. It's a great locomotive, by the way. And this one over here is a Model Power Metal F7A, one of the all-metal ones. It's a great locomotive. It's a bit of an older one. It's actually in need of repowering. It needs a new can motor in it. It's going to get that in a little while. For a while, it's just going to sit there and buy a locomotive shed, which is a locomotive shed is a Model Power building kit. It's a pretty good shed. It's good for small house. Or like a, uh, you can use it also as like a car shed, work on cars, stuff like that. Um, see the tracks come out the back right there. Um, my buildings consist of my first building. This is a Bachman Plasticville building kit. It's a switch tower. Um, the signal's not operational. Um, the water tower. The water tower. I'm. Uh, sorry about this. My mom talking in the background over there. Um, I'm not too sure who made it. I got it for free off of somebody. It was already lighted, so I wasn't going to say no. Um, this is actually JP Concrete Plant Kit. This is actually a Fowler kit. I don't know if any of you guys remember Fowler or not. I think they went bankrupt a few years ago. Probably went out of business. And I found it sitting on the back of back behind the shelf in my local hobby shop. And it was all dusty on it. just kind of sitting that back there forgotten. So I figured it would be a great kit for a good industry on my layout. So I bought it up. And it's a very well detailed kit. It's already pre weathered. Um, I put a gravel lot around it. Um, 
I bought a, also bought for a mod, it's already built up by some model power uh, stand bunker kit. Comes with a little conveyor belt here. Um, next building, this is another Bachman Plasticville kit. It's the, it's the uh, drive-in hamburger stand, as they call it. Uh, it's a pretty good kit. I painted it myself, didn't really do a very good job of it, but the paint I was using was kind of watery. I don't know what was up with that. Uh, this is the parking lot came with just one of the cheap old paper parking lots things. It's kind of crappy, <laughs> I'd say, but uh, I'll I'll rip that out sometime, replace it, make a proper parking lot for it, make it look better. But for now, that will do. Um, this one came with the came with the original train set I got, which got me on the model railroading. It's, it was a uh, model power um, uh, water tower. I decided since I have two water towers. I figured the other one would be the old water tower. I see I made its gravel lot look all grown up, grown over. It's all shrubby looking. And this one's a new water tower under construction, as you can see here. All shiny and new. Across the street from that is a model power building kit. It's Billy's Auto Body. I have a lot of model power stuff in my layout. Not their locomotives, or well, I have that one locomotive, but not any of their really traditional stuff. It's most, mostly buildings. This Billy's Auto Body is lighted. It's like Auto Body, a little gas station, a little Hot Wheels car sitting in the garage. Um, uh, parking lot. The parking lot for that is made out of foam core board. I stacked it together and put patching plaster around it for the shoulders, which I did the same with this. It's a, yet again, another model power building. Um, <clears throat> I use this like a little storage house. It's a freight station, it's supposed to be, but. I use a storage house, same thing, the parking lot for it is a foam core board that I build up patching plaster around it for the shoulders to it, I guess. And the road is also foam. The road is also foam. The uh, road shoulders are made out of the same plaster. The Woodland Scenics ground cover covers all of that. And then there's a locomotive shed, which is a model power building kit, as I already mentioned. And this is a old lifelike general store that I kind of converted into a yard office. It looks pretty abandoned, but I was gonna, I'll get some more. Tr I'll get some trucks for um, people to put around it, make it look, you know, not abandoned. <laughs> uh, all my track is Bachman Easy Track. Um, this is a small layout, so I figured I'm not gonna go for the flex track and the cork road bed, the Peco switches or Pico, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, just plain old Bachman Easy Track, 18 inch curve radius. I wanted to use 22 inch radius, but since this layout is so small, I had to use 18s, and I can't run anything more than the four axle diesels. But I would like to uh, run maybe like a uh, SD40-2 or something, maybe. <clears throat> um, my mountains, all my mountains are made out of, uh, it's actually foam, foam blocks that stack together and put patching plaster around the bottom of the mountain to make like a rocky texture, then they painted it with Rust-Oleum brown paint and uh, covered it while the paint was still wet. I covered it with uh, Woodland Scenics ground foam. Um, uh, something I bought at like, a Dollar Tree store actually called Deer Moss. And it makes real good like, shrubs and uh, real good bushes, good shrubs. So you have some around, the, around here. I have some more on this hill right here. Um, and this is the extension that I haven't have built not too long ago. What it is, is uh, the hills are the same thing. I used the extension mainly for uh, a locomotive shed. That's about all I could fit onto it. I plan on putting some hills between the track right here and the, uh, and the locomotive shed. Some hills out through there. <clears throat> um... Back there's a little signal bridge, <laughs> and uh, what I want what I want to do in the future is put like a backdrop, maybe paint the wall behind it sky blue, or just paint the whole room sky blue instead of this drubby looking tan color. And uh, you can see my bench work is pretty bench work. It's pretty basic. It's quarter inch, quarter inch plywood. It's pretty straight actually. I don't have any bending problems. It's, I was, it's really straight, as a matter of fact. But the bench work's pretty basic. I have two saw horses here and here holding it up and a cheap old folding table. 
and a cheap little folding table in the center for extra stability. So I want to kind of storage area under there. <clears throat> the extension is the same way. I kind of made my own sawhorse. I don't know if you can see that or not. Kind of made my own sawhorse to hold that up. So the bench works pretty basic. I use what I had available, piece it together, and it's very strong. Doesn't uh, isn't flimsy. Doesn't sag or anything. So I'm pretty proud of that. These are trees. That's yeah, something my lads desperately in need of is more trees. That is one of the things I like to do in the future. Add some more hills to it. <clears throat> and in this empty area over here, I like to put I like to put like a warehouse or something there for the for the little siding there. Siding has been sitting empty for the past year, I guess. And uh, after that, just kind of focus on just collecting rolling stock and locomotives until I'm able to build a bigger layout, a much bigger, much better layout. I cut my grass. The grass on it is, is like a model power grass mat. It's not the best, not quite as good as a Woodland Scenics grass mat, but it does the job. It looks pretty good. And uh, I cut the grass mat out around my power packs here to kind of give it a nice finished look. Have a little, have a little uh, corner, corner bumper bracket thing there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's my layout. Subscribe to my channel if you want more information on my layout if you like model trains and uh thanks and have a nice day